Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 8744. So today guys, I want to do my Euro 2024 my early predictions early predictions I'm gonna in fact I'm gonna be predicting the entire tournament today and um, this is recording December 2nd These aren't my final predictions by the way I'll probably do an update of final predictions when we get closer to the actual tournament of June These are just my early predictions So I just want to see how well this ages and of course let me know your predictions in the comments below guys and of course um, uh, Let's see how many can get correct so let's start with Group A. We have first, I have, so coming to ball in the group is Switzerland. I feel like for me, Switzerland, I know. Switzerland for me have been very unconvincing. I've not been impressed with them. They didn't do well in the Euro qualifiers, and I feel like this team has just been regressing. I feel like ever since that thrashing they received by Portugal, this team has been regressively, regressively worse, and I think they're going to flop at the Euros, man. And it's kind of weird for them because generally they do well in the group stage, but this time around, I think they're going to finish bottom. Third, I have a Scotland. I feel like Scotland's a good team. I've seen what they've done in the qualifiers. They did really well in tough group. That being said, though, I don't think they can get top two. I think this the team isn't as... The, there's not enough talent for me in the team. You know, and I feel like they're a bit too reliant on McTominay to bail them out with the goals. So that is one issue I do have right there. That being said, though, do you have a lot of grading character. Second place I have is Germany. Germany, for me, needs to perform well in this Euros at home. And I think they're going to get the job done against Switzerland and Scotland. I don't think they'll get the job done against Hungary, though. In fact, I have Hungary to top the group. I feel like Hungary, for me, is a dark horse for the tournament. And they're actually my dark horse for this tournament. I think they're going to do very well. And um, I just feel like, for me, they're more of a more balanced team than Germany. I think Germany, for me, is not as balanced as Hungary. So, there you guys go. Um, and so, yeah. Let's move on to Group B. Group B, I have here is albania last place now i'm really hoping albania show up because i think albania is a very is a good team and i feel like they were really hard done by the draw i think the draw was really really harsh to them they got a very un very very difficult draw and i feel like they put them in any other group they would advance it's just too difficult for me that being said though i could see them maybe maybe make things tricky for spain italy and croatia particularly either croatia i have in third place i think they'll just about get it through um, Croatia kind of just do the bare minimum it feels like to qualify for the next stage and I feel like they'll do the bare minimum here and get the win over Albania which will probably be enough for them to secure that third place and they may get a draw against Italy and Italy will finish the second place in my opinion and for me Spain should be top of this group Spain with the quality players they have I expect Spain to top this group group C we have Slovenia last place now I'm hoping Slovenia really do well because I feel like this is a very difficult group for them you know making their um, you know making their Euro um, appearance after like um, 2000 so it's like 20 23 years so it's a long time i feel like they're not gonna have the experience and even though serbia themselves haven't played in the euros this is a first time they're playing is independent nation they do have the world cup experience and i feel like they'll just about get through um and third place and i feel like they'll get like i could see them having a high score and draw against denmark and i think they'll they'll beat slovenia which will be enough for them to advance in third place uh, but that being said defensively they need to improve and denmark i think they'll They'll do well in this group, and I think they'll, you know, get the job done, and I think they'll get five points, which will be enough for them to qualify, I believe. And then I think they'll, um, and then England will top the group, of course. England have too much higher power up their tanks. Group D, I got France, Netherlands, Austria, and the playoff winner A. I just feel like, for me, this group is pretty straightforward um, in the sense, and I feel like the really the interesting thing with this group is really that second place battle, because for me, Netherlands, Austria was a coin toss. I ended up going Netherlands to finish above Austria, because I think Netherlands, for me, have a more of a complete team than Austria, and that's the reason why I went with Netherlands on that regard. In the Group E, I have Belgium top of the group and the playoff winner of B to come in second place, Romania third, and Slovakia. I'm not really impressed with Slovakia to keep it a, keep it a stack with you guys. Not really impressed. And I feel like for me, Romania is a good shout, and I think they'll make it very close, but I feel like for me, this team, it's going to be too difficult. I think you, um, the playoff winner B will have too much experience, and I feel like it's going to be difficult. So I, I'm going to go with Romania to narrowly miss out on the round of 16. So unfortunately for all my Romanian fans right there, I'm very disappointed. I'm, I I'm think what's going to happen is they'll, I feel like they'll get a draw against Slovakia and get a draw against the playoff winner, and that won't be enough because two points is not going to be enough, man. Two points will probably not be enough to qualify. So sorry, Romania. Um, it would be nice for them to do well. And the group F for me, Czech Republic, I'm... This might become an unpopular pick. I think Czech Republic will unfortunately finish bottom this group. I feel like for me, Czech Republic... They're a good, decent team. I just feel like, for me, this team, it doesn't have, like, I'm not really that impressed with this team, you know? I feel like this team isn't really that great. And then third, I have the playoff winner, C. I think, um, 
whichever team gets off in the playoffs could finish third in this group, and I think they'll do well, themselves well, and I feel like it's going to be interesting. And the second I have is Turkey just about. I think Turkey will just about get it over the line, and then forced I have in the group is Portugal. Moving to the knockout stage. This is a knockout stage, and I'm just going to quickly run through the games. I have Spain versus Scotland. Spain should be winning that. Hungary versus Denmark. I think Hungary actually beats Denmark here. Portugal versus Serbia. Portugal, good revenge for the play on the uh, World Cup playoffs, World Cup qualifiers. And then Netherlands versus the playoff winner B. I have Netherlands to prevail on that one. And then Belgium versus Croatia. I think Croatia beat Belgium. France versus Turkey. I have France to win. England versus Austria. England to win. And Germany versus Italy. I think Italy will actually triumph in that one. The, the host nation goes out. And then this is my quarterfinals. I have here Spain versus Hungary. The, quite of an upset here. I actually went with Hungary to prevail here. That's probably an unpopular pick. I needed to pick one big upset, and I think that's one that's going to happen. And then Portugal versus Netherlands, I want Portugal to win that one. And then France versus Croatia, I want France to win. And England versus Italy, I want England to win. And then this is the semifinals. I went with Hungary versus Portugal. I, you know, this will be a great journey for Hungary to make the final, but let's be I think final is very unrealistic. So I think Portugal will win that. And then France versus England, I think England wins that. And then my final is Portugal versus England. And I think England finally win the Euros. They finally win the Euros after failing to do so in 2020. So I want to know what you guys think of these predictions, guys. Like I said, these are very early predictions, you know, and I want to know what you guys think, man. So remember, guys, like and subscribe if you made it this far. Really do appreciate it. And like I said, man, let me know your predictions in the comments below. I'm definitely going to read through your comments. And remember, guys, to so become a member of the channel, you access members' videos, member streams. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Thank you.